All right, so this is going to be a tutorial for Robo Warrior in the Big 20. The goal is beat the first boss. So I'm going to start by going over um, a couple of the game's mechanics, as well as some of the items that we're going to be using in the run. If you look in the upper right, you have a health bar. You also have some uh, cylinders to the left of your health bar. Your health gradually decreases in this game just as time goes on. Uh, if it runs out completely, one of the cylinders on the left will be used to replenish it. If you run out of both cylinders and uh, the health bar, you will die. Alright, so let's take a look at some of these items. Uh, the bombs are going to be used to blow up these destructible objects in our path. Uh, the rocket serves the same purpose, except it has the benefit of clearing out an entire line of objects. Uh, we also have the energy refill. This completely refills your health bar and your cylinders. Uh, through the run, we're also going to be picking up boots, which let you run faster. We're going to be getting candles, which let you see in the dark, which is helpful in uh, caves as well as one of the later levels. We're also going to be getting nukes, which clear all the destructible objects on the screen. And we're going to be getting a lantern, which uh, illuminates an entire screen when you're in the dark. Alright, so let's actually get into the route. We're going to start by getting all the items on this first screen. In this screen, we're going to bomb this first tree and get a candle, because we're going to be going into a cave at the start of the game, try and get some item drops. Alright, so when you enter the cave, hit select, your candle will be uh, automatically selected. And then you just press select again and it will be used. Now as you're going through this cave, you want to watch out for those gray guys shooting rockets. The rockets do a lot of damage. Now we're mainly looking for bombs, uh, boots, rockets, and energy refills in this cave. Okay, I didn't get any rockets, but I got some boots, which is pretty good. Alright, so you can see I dropped a double bomb there. Oh, well, you notice when I dropped one bomb, the objects at the corners of the explosion will only take partial damage. But if you drop two on top of each other, it will clear out all the uh, destructible objects around the bomb. Which is useful for uh, clearing out paths quickly. Our next goal is to get to that center square of water. When we step in that, it's going to double our items. So we'll get double bombs, we'll get double rockets, boots, and energy refills. So I'm going to use boots and fire a rocket here. Uh, if you use boots and fire a rocket, you'll actually end up destroying more objects with the rocket. Because you'll be uh, traveling faster behind it, and it'll cover more distance on the screen. It's going to be useful at the end of this level for clearing a path to the end quickly. Alright, we're going to destroy this wall because this gives us a guaranteed rocket drop and a guaranteed nuke drop. More rockets are always good and the nuke is going to be used in one of the later levels. So if you have boots, you want to make sure to use one at this part followed by a rocket because it's going to clear a path all the way to the end. Uh, if you don't have boots, you'll have to bomb a couple of those trees. Alright, so we're going to go into the shop now. Just go to the right. We're not going to be buying any items. So you notice I get hit by enemies a lot. Um, it doesn't really do too much damage getting hit by an enemy. If you get hit by your own bombs though, it actually does a pretty significant amount of damage. I got some spare rockets here, so I used one there. Um, if you didn't get any rocket drops on the first level, you're just going to have to bomb that. Alright, so be careful in the water. If you stay in it too long, you will drown. Alright, next we're going to go up here. I'm going to blow up this uh, wall. We're going to go get the lantern. The next level is completely dark. So the lantern will uh, light up the entire screen. You can also use candles for that level. I'd recommend getting the lantern at first though, so you become more familiar with the layout. Alright, gonna blow up this wall, it takes three bombs. Alright, next we're gonna be getting the key so we can exit the level. 
that's to the left here. Then uh, use another rocket to uh, clear a path to the exit. Alright, so as I said, this level is completely in the dark. And we're going to want to use boots here, because there's a lot of wide open spaces in this level that you're going to be running through. We're also going to use this lifesaver that we picked up in the first level. This lets you walk over water without drowning. And we're also going to use the lantern so you can see where we're going. As I said, you can use candles here as well, but I recommend the lantern until you know what the level layout is. We're going to blow up this wall. It takes three bombs. Uh, if you have boots and a rocket, you can actually fire a rocket from here and run straight to the right. Um, if not, just blow them up. We're going to head up into this top right corner. So we're going to get a nuke. A little low on health, so I'm going to use an energy refill. Alright, there's our second nuke. It's going to come in handy in the later levels. Oops, I need to get the key before I go to the exit. Alright. Just exit the shop again. So in 3-1, we want to break this uh, first pillar. It gives us a guaranteed rocket drop, which is really nice for this next section. Because you got very long lines of uh, pillars you want to break. It's definitely good to have a couple rockets here. And if you have boots, you can uh, clear more of those pillars. Alright, we're going to go into this cave. Use a candle again, and we're basically on the lookout for the same things we were before. Uh, rockets, boots. Those get the top priority. Energy refills are always good. I just kind of snake up and down. Alright, need to head to the right here and grab this item, then we can go around. If you don't, the uh, screen will actually loop. So you can see I got hit by my own bomb there. It does quite a bit of damage. So in this pillar is a guaranteed rocket drop, which is always nice. Gonna blow up these walls, three bombs each. Now we're gonna grab the key. After we blow up this wall, we're going to be using our first nuke. So stand in the tile where the wall was, drop the nuke, and when you come down here, make sure you grab this lifesaver, because we're going to need it on the next level. And just head towards the exit. Alright, so this area is very wide open, so you want to save boots for uh, this if you have some. You're also going to want to use a lifesaver, because we're going to need to cross this uh, gap water. I just keep running to the right. I'm going to be breaking a wall up here. It's only two bombs for these walls. And again, this is why we need the lifesaver. Alright, we're going to use a rocket here. And when we get all the way to the right, we're going to use a nuke. Blow up all these blocks. Grab this rocket. And come down here, oops, use a rocket on this line. Uh, so you can see I didn't have the boots active. If I had the boots active, it actually would have cleared it all the way to the end of the wall. But since I didn't, I had to use an extra rocket. Then shoot straight up and grab the key and we're going to head towards the boss. The boss is pretty straightforward, just going to drop bombs on his face.
And he's dead. Grab the key, hit the exit, and that is Robo Warrior. Be the first boss.